Welcome to Blueprint Radio. I'm your host, Martin Williams. Here we help you create a blueprint for your life. And welcome so let's to build. Blueprint Radio. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. You may do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. All the links to the podcast can be found at guidedexpressions.com forward slash podcast on an S or wherever you're listening to this podcast right now. Today, my subject is stop doing too much. Okay? So we're more overwhelmed than we've ever been before. 94% of workers are experiencing stress at work. And the average employee is only productive for about two and a half hours a day, according to a study by Apollo Technical, right? And that number has been pretty consistent, no matter where you look, okay? So we're more overwhelmed than ever, and we're getting less done than ever. Why is that? More people have more on their plate than they've ever had before. And with that comes a sense of overwhelm, overcommitment, right? Too many things to do, too many things that have to get done. And when you overcommit, it almost guarantees failure because you can't really get it all done, right? Despite your best intentions, despite everything that you set out to do during the day, many, many people, and maybe you fall into this category, look at all they wanted to do at the beginning of the day, and you know maybe one or two of those things got done, and you know it leads to a sense of unfulfillment, right? You feel like, man, I'll never get this stuff done. I'll never. You know, I'll never, you know, pull out of this hole that I dug for myself, right? And most of us have done exactly that. You've dug this hole for yourself because you overcommitted. You tried to do too many things, right? There's a famous quote. I believe it was from uh, J. Paul Getty that people fail as much doing too much as doing too little, right? You got to find that sweet spot. And I know for me, I had to find that sweet spot, excuse me, I had to find that sweet spot for myself. Excuse me. And it wasn't easy, you know, because when you're at a job, you know, you're being evaluated on your performance. Um, You're expected to get certain things done and not only get them done, but get them done well. Right. But if you have, you know, say 20 things that you have to do. Right. And in reality, you can probably only get maybe five or six of those things done. Then it feels like a you know, more stressful situation than it should be, because you got to decide which five things am I going to get done? And can I get those things done and not you know, get let go, right? Or, you know, fail my performance evaluation. And it can be that way, you know, with the business as well. You know, especially if you're an entrepreneur uh, that has no employees, you know, you're doing everything yourself. It's very easy to get overwhelmed because you're doing the sales and marketing. You're doing the creating of the actual, you know, thing that your business is all about. Um, You know, you're doing the PR, you're doing, you know, you're answering the phones, you're doing the admin work, you're doing all, you know, all of the things, right? So there's no let up as far as the amount of things that you have to get done in a particular day. So what do you do, right? You got to make a list of what matters. You got to decide what matters in your life, right? What are the five areas? For me, it's five, but it may be seven for you, maybe three, Right. But what are the areas that matter to you in your life? And you've got to create those areas and then create one thing or decide one thing that you're going to get done every single day in that area. So for me, my five areas are spirituality, health, and that includes mental, physical health, family, work and business because I'm starting a business also while I'm working. 
So I write down what are the, you know, what's the one thing that I need to get done in each area, right? These are the have tos, okay? So at work, it may be, you know, sending a report to my supervisor, right? In business, it may be posting something on Facebook about my business, right? For family, it might be watching a movie together or, you know, going for a walk. Um, You know, for health, it may be, you know, getting to the gym and getting my workout completed, right? For spirituality, it may be, you know, praying for 15 minutes or, you know, sitting in the silence for 15 minutes. Whatever those things are, right? What's the one thing that I've got to get done today? That's what goes into that. And, And what I do is that I make circles, right? For each of those areas. So that's what goes into that circle. Now, I might have more things that I have to do besides that. And the reality is is that I almost always have more things to do besides that circle. But that circle encompasses the have to. That that is what I have to get done today, right? And the have to is done first, right? I get that done first before I do anything else. What happens when I complete that, right? Right? When I finish the have tos, number one is that I'm going to get more things done. I'm going to be more productive as a rule, right? Because I'm focusing in on the thing that I've got to finish. That is what's the most important thing, right? There may be 15 things on my list and everyone feels like their 15 things are the most important things. But the bottom line is they're not, everything can't be the most important thing. You got to decide what's the most important thing for you and complete that, right? And then you cross off that circle and that is the fulfillment of the day. You're done. You, you're, you've completed what you had to do. Now, everything else is a bonus, right? Now, you may feel like, well, I, I won't ever get anything done that way. That's not true, okay? Because... What we've learned is that workers who are more fulfilled, and this this is the case whether it's workers, you know, people at a job or people in a business. The more fulfilled a person is, the more productive they are, the more happier they are. And the more happier you are, the more productive you are. It's kind of like a positive, you know, feedback loop, right? Most people are unfulfilled, so they're miserable. Right. And when you're miserable, you're not getting anything done. (laughs) Okay, I know. I know I'm talking from experience. You're not getting anything done if if you're miserable and if you're, you know, feel like, you know, you never get forward. You're never going to do anything um, that you want to do or anything like that. Right. You have to learn how to basically break apart your life. It's kind of like putting, you know, a complex piece of furniture together. Right. It's kind of, you know, separating out everything. Okay, this piece goes here, this piece goes there. Okay, and then systematically putting it back together. And it's kind of like this with life, right? We Sometimes we're trying to do everything at once and then nothing gets done. You got to separate out everything. Okay, this is what I have to do in this area, right? This is what I have to do, you know, with my money. This is what I have to do with my family. This is what I have to do with my health. This is what I have to do with my business. This is what I have to do with my spirituality, my connection to God, right? I put all these things together in order, and then I just systematically move through it. That's how you create a more ba- a more balanced life, excuse me, but also a more productive one, right? It's not about doing more things. It's about doing the things that matter more, Okay? Once you shift that way of thinking, you're going to start getting more things done. And you're going to start feeling more fulfilled because you're getting more things done. Again, like a positive feedback loop. So thank you so much for listening. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to Blueprint Radio. For more information on Martin Williams coaching and products, please go to guidedexpressions.com or visit me on Facebook as well as Instagram.